Dragon. It's a prophecy. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good, actually. For two days, or first of all, let's talk about a question. What is your favorite tree? <laughs> like, my favorite tree is an oak tree. Like, what is your favorite tree? Because mine's an oak tree. Like, I just think they're so cute and they're so pretty and I like the whites and I like the grays. Like, they're amazing. But, what is your favorite tree? I want to know. And also, if you're new here, hello, my name is Jacob. Welcome to my channel. And if you like paranormals or reactions, then, you know, subscribe. I do both. And, like, that's just the gist of my channel. <clears throat> so, for today's video, we're going to be talking about an urban legend. And I believe this urban legend comes from Connecticut. I don't remember. I remember doing research, K, but I don't remember where it was. I'm pretty sure it was Connecticut. I'm pretty sure. All right, so the urban legend we're going to be talking about is about Hannah Kurana, I believe. Like, that's a good wordplay right there. Like, bravo, bravissimo. But she is known as the Witch of the Wicked Witch of Monroe. The Wicked Witch. Don't forget, the Wicked Witch of the West. <clears throat> Star. But, so, how she became known as the Wicked Witch of Monroe is that her husband mysteriously died by falling off a cliff. First and foremost, can we just, like, understand how is falling off a cliff mysterious? Like, there, I do not understand how that is considered <laughs> mysterious. Like, if you fall off a cliff, you fall off a cliff. Like, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how it's mysterious, but, you know, I digress. So, after her husband's death, people believed that she would curse or put a spell or hex anybody she didn't like. Which, I guess it's obviously apparent that she didn't like her husband if he died in mysterious ways. And that's how she got her name of the Wicked Witch of Monroe. Like, slay. But, so, people would, like, be scared of her. People would think that, you know, if anything bad happened in her life, it was her fault. Which I find is a little bad rap. Like, first her husband dies mysteriously. Now you guys are calling her the Wicked Witch of Monroe. And now you guys are thinking that she's going to curse anybody that she does not like. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Back in the 19th century, witches were so, like, prosecuted. I don't understand. Like, it was so weird. Like, the Salem witch trials. You could, anybody was accused of a witch. Like... Okay, I would have went to hell then. That's fine with me. And when she died, so she, I believe it said that she was eight, she lived all the way to age 77, but hope I do too. But so when she eventually passed, she or she asked if she could rather be carried by foot than by wagon to her to the cemetery. And the people of the towns didn't like that. And so they tried to wagon her to the cemetery. And it was said that every time she, every time they tried to take her on the wagon, her coffin would fall off. And like, honestly, can we like talk about that? If I was dead and I was being taken to the cemetery, I would like, I, like if I was alive, like even if you were alive and you see someone's carriage, like someone's casket fall and like, that is traumatizing. Like you think about that, like what if someone, like what if you're at a funeral, you know, everything's going fine and then all of a sudden the casket falls. Like you have a, you have like a 50% chance that the body is just gonna plop out onto the floor. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Like I probably would have flipped out like crazy because just imagine a body flopping out when a casket falls like that's a little it's a little much that's a little much Hannah Karana like you please do not fall out of your casket but so since her casket kept falling the townspeople were like okay well we got a grant and we have to give into her wishes and they carried her by foot to the cemetery which honestly, like, really, like, if someone asked you, like, in their dying wish, or I don't know if it was their dying wish or not, but, like, if someone asked you, can you please carry my fat casket and not wag it? Like, wag it. Not put it in a wagon. <laughs> like, honestly, I think that would be good common courtesy because the person's already gone. Like, they're gone. So, I mean, might as well send them out the way they wanted to. And she wanted to carry. 
And because her cast could get fallen out, they blamed her as well. Okay, so like this is gonna be the reoccurring thing. Like, she's a witch because one, her husband died mysteriously falling off a cliff, which I still don't understand that. And then two, her cast could get fallen because you guys didn't want to do what she asked. That's not a wish, that's someone being like, excuse me, sir, but I asked you to do this, please. Sounds like a Karen, can I speak to your manager? But, <laughs> but so what, so what, oh, oh, I can't English, my paper fell. So what solidified her, which I kind of think this is a little, okay, like you got, you got me here is they went to her house and her house was up in flames after she passed away and after she was buried. So, which honestly, logically thinking it could have been anything like, you know, I am part, I like, I like the paranormal and everything, but like logically speaking, her house fire could have been like, you know, something else, you know, a candle or something. I honestly don't believe it's because she's a witch, but you know, have at it. But when they went to her house, it was on fire. So the people in that town, I forgot what town it was, basically labeled her as a witch because her husband died mysteriously from falling off a cliff and she, her casket fell and her house was in flames, which I honestly think like all of those could have been logical explanations. Like there are probably some logical explanations for everything that happened. But I digress, you know, we're as a society, very ready to label somebody as a witch when they are not normal. Point taken. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. Um, let me know if you've ever heard of this story. Like I barely found this story. Let me know if you've ever heard of it. Let me know if I've left anything out. I know you can also go visit her grave where the city that she's buried in, I completely forgot. But you can go visit her grave. You can go visit her, which I think that is so cool. I want to go to New Orleans and I want to go visit some graves out there. Like, mm, I totally want to go to New Orleans. And you know what? We're going to have a second question for my subscribers. Where in the world do you want to go, like, visit? I want to go visit New Orleans. I want to go for Mardi Gras. Like, oh, I want to go visit all the voodoo queens, the voodoo witch doctors. I want to go visit all of them. Like, mm. That sounds like a fun time to me. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I give you, I would say, hmm, 100,000 awesome dragon points because you guys are cool. And that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.